Um, this is not about photography, but it's part about gas. Listen, here's the tagline. eBay and the United States Postal Service are the two biggest pieces of shiitake mushrooms I have ever met in my entire life. I should know better. It's partially my fault. Let, let me explain what happened here. So, I'm selling off some of the gear. Like I always do. Constantly selling gear. And I sold the Nikon 24-120 f4 lens. It's a fairly expensive lens. I think it's $1,100 or $1,200. It's hard to find, yada, yada, yada. And I had a buyer for it. Buyer paid right away. I go into my app on my phone, and it says big blue button, like print label. So I print the label. Out from my sprint, my printer uh, spits a, a USPS label. I box it up, drop it off like I do so many other times. Off it goes. I get paid. Money goes into my account. We're good. About a week goes by, and I get contacted from the buyer. He says, hey, that package you shipped, he's like, what's going on with it? So I look and check the tracking number out. It says it's stuck in Memphis, Tennessee. And that it's still scheduled to be delivered. Okay. I said, I'm not sure. I give it a couple more days. A couple days go by, no movement. So I'm going back and forth with the buyer through this entire process. I call United States Postal Service. Okay, now it's been like 10 days, maybe even longer, maybe 15 days since this shipment took place. Should have been there in like three days. And I uh, open up a case. They send you through like this phone call thing and then like eventually they send you a text message. And while you're on the phone, you answer these messages by phone. It's actually not a bad, it's not a great process. This is better, better than, than like just trying to leave voicemails, do voice prompts. And they open up a case. So I said, go find my package. I get a call from the Postal Service like two hours later. I'm like, holy crap, that's impressive. And this lady, um, I'll refrain from any other negativity, but this lady picks the phone up and she said, oh, sir, uh, we got your case here. We're just really busy in backlog. There's a labor shortage. And he, yeah, it, it's definitely here though. We haven't lost it. I said, it's definitely there? Oh yeah, it's definitely here. Okay, because it should move in the next couple days. I'm like, okay. So I go back into eBay. I tell the guy this. He said, hey, that's fair. And boom. Now I look at the tracking number and it says case opened and then case closed. Long story short, the package hasn't gone anywhere. Okay. She called me and wanted to close the case. Like she's checking boxes. She has no idea the package is there. No one's went and looked for it. No one's put hands on it. So, some time goes by. The buyer said, hey, listen, this is just ridiculous. It's taking too long. I'm declaring it lost. I want a refund from eBay for this. Okay. Now, mind you, I've gotten the money already. I've purchased other gear with it. And I've got uh, a package with my lens sitting in supposedly Memphis, Tennessee. Okay. eBay opens a case. I explain to them what happened. It doesn't matter. eBay is such a piece of crap. They always side with the buyer because they want to keep buyers there. I get it because if there's buyers, then there will always be sellers. But I'm telling you, I don't think I'm ever going to sell on eBay ever again because they looked at my case and they said, yeah, we understand all this, but we're going to refund the buyer for his money. Now, I get it. The buyer shouldn't be out the money. I'm in support of that. But eBay, where do you come in through all this? Okay. Now, the problem I also have is that eBay changed their system with the way payments are and the way they do their packaging labels. Now, shame on me a little bit at this part, but I should have checked. When I click the print label button, it's, it's kind of real easy, right? I didn't verify if they insure it. I don't, I'm going to tell you they don't. The minimum package is insured for $50. That's it. $1,000 lens, insured for 50 bucks. And when I went to the prompts to print the label, it was as simple as like print label, use your PayPal funds or whatever funds it was, print. That's it. I didn't see any option, at least through the phone, to pick for insurance. So I open up a case again with the USPS to say, hey, you guys close this case. 
It has not been found. The package has not been moved from the Memphis, Tennessee locations. But it's been like three weeks now. I get another lady who's actually much nicer. He says, oh, that's really, that's an unacceptable. Reopens the case for me. Sends it to the next level. I get an email back the next day from the United States Postal Service. They say, uh, yep, sorry, we are just backlogged. Um, and if you want to claim it lost, go ahead and click this link. That's it. And so I'm really frustrated now. So then I go back to eBay and I explain again what happened. I appealed my case. They don't care. They still sided with the buyer, which again, it's not me versus the buyer. It's just the package is missing. So here's the long story short. I'm out the money that was paid to me. I have to refund that back. And I don't have a lens. And if it is truly lost, the nice is Postal Service is going to be 50 bucks for it? 50 bucks. Um, I've made some corrections now. Like I have something else up on eBay. Um, it'll be UPS only. USPS can burn to the ground. Uh, it's not inciting violence or whatever kind of sensitivity stuff we got going on now these days. But it's just total trash. And this isn't the first time. I mean, United States Postal Service has taken weeks to deliver something that was sitting like down the street. So maybe this will get delivered. I don't know. But let's pretend it does get delivered. So this guy gets his money back and he has my lens. What is eBay going to do? Going to go yank the money out of his account and pay me? <coughs> the whole thing's just a total mess. And the bigger problem is... There's nowhere really good to sell and buy camera gear anymore. In fact, that's part of my gas issues, is that I can't put my hands on cameras without purchasing them. In fact, if you call Adorama or B&H, I'm like, hey, is there some program where I can like try this out for a week? I'll even pay for it. They're like, no. So you have to go to like Lens Rentals or, or uh, whatever the other one is. I forget. Borrow Lenses. And that's it's like 300 bucks, 200 bucks. It's kind of expensive to do that. And so um, there's just nowhere good to buy and sell camera gear you use. You can do Fred Miranda... Uh, you can do eBay or Facebook Marketplace. You can do whatever. And I, I know how to do those things. Um, just there's always the potential for something like this, if I'm not paying close attention, to have a mistake, right? Murphy's Law. I wasn't paying close attention. Then this happened. And it's on the most expensive item I sold. Uh, just just stupid. I'm just pissed at eBay. They offer no protection for sellers. United States Postal Service. Um, eBay didn't insure it. I should have checked. I don't know. Postal Service. All they want to do is check boxes. No one's going to find that lens. I'm going to be out. I'm going to be out a lot of money. Which sucks. Um, so, I just wanted to rant to you guys. As I eat this apple. I'm not happy. I do have something to tell you, though. I picked up another camera. It's an old camera. It's one of my favorite cameras of all time. And I haven't held it for years. A long time. Three years? Four years? Picked it up again. I'm going to keep it this time. I know, it's hard to believe. I'm going to keep it this time. So uh, I'll tell you guys what it is in the next video. See ya. Bye. Running my way to a better time Sweet nostalgia gonna ease my mind